Hey, we're here at Arthur R. Marshall Loxahatchee National Wildlife Refuge, one of the last remnants of natural Everglades habitat here in Palm Beach County. The refuge lies to the west of the coastal urban corridor stretching from Boca Raton all the way to West Palm Beach, yet most people don't even realize it's there. On this map, you can actually see the refuge. It's that big green splotchy area uh, pointed to by the arrow. Other than a few access points, most of the refuge is inaccessible except for airboat or canoe and kayak. This part of natural Florida can best be observed by some quiet observation. Water makes the ecosystem here, and it's ruled by the wet and the dry season. We've actually had plenty of rain this fall, so the marshes and the swamps are still pretty full. Because water is so important, we can actually look at some of the aquatic life to tell whether or not the system is healthy. It's time to switch paddles with some dip nets. Serena Rinker, one of the refuge staff, is going to help us out with our dip netting today. We'll be looking for macroinvertebrates. Macroinvertebrates are basically small invertebrates that are still big enough to be able to see with our eyes. Most of the time they're insect larvae, but they can also include shrimp and little uh, mollusks like snails as well. So let's see what we found. First up is a water bug, and they're distinctive for having these front grasping legs. You can watch this bug dive down, and on the back you'll see this kind of glistening part. That's trapped air. This is a mayfly larvae, and it's distinctive because it has three tail filaments, and it also has abdominal gills, which are pretty evident. Next up is a damselfly, which is again distinctive with those three tail filaments, but in this case it doesn't have any abdominal gills. Using Beck's biotic index, mayflies are actually considered a class 1 species and damselflies class 2, both of them basically indicating a relatively healthy system. Of course there are threats. These eggs are from an exotic apple snail that are causing all sorts of problems out here in the wetlands. They reproduce quickly and they take up resources uh, for the native species. Now it's time to check out the swamp. This area that's not too far from the nature center has been very dry over the last few years, so it's really great to see a lot of water in it. All the green stuff you see me walking through is actually called water fern or Salvinia minima. It occurs generally in still waters with lots of organic content. And the leaves have these small stiff hairs all over them and the root-like structures underneath are actually modified leaves. This is an invasive species here in Florida. There's nothing quite like walking through a swamp. Tall cypress trees, pond apples, ferns, hanging moss. This is part of the real Florida. We've really got to do everything we can to preserve what wetlands and natural habitats we have left here in Florida. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever been out in a marsh or a swamp here in Florida and what you've got to see. And of course, if you enjoy this video, click that like button and subscribe for weekly videos. Until next time!